Today, we're gonna be going from Melbourne to Sydney. Right now, we're in Melbourne. There's a little bit of a storm off in the distance there, so we're trying to beat that, so we probably need to hit the New South Wales border by about 9 a.m. Right now, it's six, so we should have enough time, but we're gonna take you along on the journey. It's about a nine hour trip. We're probably gonna take it in 12 because we got the kiddo and this little guy right here. But yeah, should be fun, let's see how it goes. Sydney, here we come. Yeah, if you're wondering about the process to go from Sydney to Melbourne with COVID restrictions, going from Sydney to Melbourne, you do actually need to apply for a pass. But going from Melbourne to Sydney, there's no pass needed. There's no check of the pass whatsoever coming here, but you're still supposed to apply for it. So you probably should. It took about two minutes to do. You get the pass within a minute. You could literally do it as you're going through the border and you'd probably get it before you cross. Now we're on Hume Highway. So for those of you wondering, Hume Highway is pretty much what you're gonna be driving down when you're going from Melbourne to Sydney or Sydney to Melbourne. It's the main highway. You're gonna be doing a couple hundred kilometers on it at least, probably more like 900. You're gonna run into some nice little towns, some wineries, feel free to spot. I guess it's up to you if you wanna stop them or not, but the wineries are pretty good. Sydney, Australia in general has some pretty good wine. Other than that, you've got a few small towns. We're going to be visiting those. You've got some giant goat statues and everything like that. But it's a pretty bland drive, in my opinion. But you're going to be seeing sheep. You're going to be seeing all sorts of crazy animals, maybe, if you're lucky. You'll see a few kangaroos on the road. Hopefully not dead. Likely dead, though. Australia. One of the things that's actually pretty surprising is the sun here. I'm wearing a coat, but he, it started off like a pretty cold day. We're talking about 50s. If you're from somewhere other than the US, it's probably like 10s. It started off a pretty cold day, but the sun right here, the second the sun comes out, it's just super hot. It really heats things up. It's going to add an extra 10 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit, probably like 5 degrees Celsius to the temperature. So it really does mean the difference. If there's a sun versus no sun, you might be wearing a coat. If there's no sun, if there's a sun, you might be in t-shirt and shorts. It's crazy, but the sun here is super powerful. So don't underestimate it on your trip. It's Second kangaroo sighting, just got him through the trees, so just barely saw him. You've got to keep a really good eye out for them. If you're the driver and you do that, it's probably not a good thing, but if you're a passenger, it's always cool to just look for the kangaroos on the way. One morning with these roads too, it does get pretty bumpy and it makes quite a bit of noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is quite loud inside the car. The roads aren't quite as paved as other areas of the country or other countries. get a little bit of a glimpse of the storm that's coming in. It's just off over to this side of us. Um, not too bad yet. It's just a little bit of a light rain. But if you let this go for too long, what's going to happen is it's going to get stronger. There's going to be thunderstorms. And then there's flash flooding in this sort of specific area that we're in right now. So it's good that we keep going. It's right, right, right. It's right, 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 right now. Why are you hiding? Tell me what must I do? All right, so we stopped at a McDonald's real quick, or Macca's, got some breakfast, and now we're gonna be back at it. And I always got a uh, coffee. It's not as good at McDonald's, but a coffee is still pretty good in Australia. 
It looks like the rain's caught up with us, so uh, I'm going to be the one driving for now. But, um, yeah, so far so good. We're about two hours, 30 minutes into it. We're in a place called Glen Rowan. So there's just a nice little McDonald's out here. It's got a cool outdoor section. And I'll be driving for a bit here, so uh, probably won't be as much video footage. All right, take the video. Alright, one more stop. We stopped for a uh, bit of KFC. That's something that's pretty popular out here in Australia. So, figured we do that and we get a nice view too. Got a bunch of sheep down there. And a little bug. Nice twisting tracks. Some sheep, if you can see them, just grazing down there. So, yeah. Pretty nice view that we get along with the uh, COVID tents. That's not the best. most of the driving you get like a little bit of rain go into a place where there's some sun you're okay for a bit a little more rain it's on and off a little tough but you get through it One thing to remember too, in Australia, gas stations aren't as frequent as they would be in the US. So even going from Sydney to Melbourne, you wanna make sure you got at least like a half tank at most times. If there's a gas station coming up, you know it's coming up, no big deal, but you still could run out of gas if you're running on a quarter tank and you're in the wrong stretch of road. If you're going from somewhere like Sydney to Perth, then it's a whole different story. There's like stretches of road where there's absolutely nothing and you definitely are gonna want some gas there. You're definitely gonna to wanna to take keep the tank full but luckily what we're doing is a little bit more of a minor road trip if you will it's going to take about a day and that means that you can almost do it on maybe one and a half to two tanks of gas depending on your car so getting one or two stops to just fill up the tank is all you need We're in Goldburn, about two hours outside of Sydney. Not really much to do. There's a giant sheep, which is something to look at, but otherwise just a pretty average town. And we made it back. So that was Melbourne to Sydney. It was Chloe's first actual like trip ever. And it was one of Toasty's longer trips too. So it was a little tough with that, but overall it was a really good trip.